Hello everyone, my name is Marwan and I am from group The Jets and I have alongside myself Yusuf and him and Akshav and you're going to see their pictures right now. So today we have an important topic to discuss and this is the future of propulsion. There has been an ongoing problem since the development of uh, aircraft gas turbines and their implementation in civil aircraft and this problem is noise. So. How is noise produced? Noise is produced when the air from the inlet fan, which is cold, is mixed with the hot air coming out of the turbine. The temperature difference is what produces the noise, and that's when our proposed design comes into place. At takeoff, the engine is operating at high power because it wants to achieve the maximum thrust, because it wants to achieve the maximum velocity. Therefore, the jet, veloci the jet velocities interact with each other and they produce noise along the takeoff path. Our proposed design, which is the Chevron, will allow the mixture of the hot core jet, the fan jet, and the ambient air to occur in three dimensions. The air integration path will be increased by the virtue of the zigzag profile which is provided by the Chevron nozzle, which will be explained further throughout the video. Thank you. A nozzle is defined as any hollow cylinder which is large in circumference at the inlet side and narrower at the outlet. A turbofan engine drives 70% of its thrust for the inlet fan at the front. The air thrown back from the fan is not all sent into the compressor, but instead most of it goes through the bypass, which is the gap between the casing and the core, which later meets at the same place where the jet engine shoots out its hot air stream. The air which passes through the bypass is low in temperature, while the air coming out of the jet engine turbine is hot. The mixture of this air, owing to the temperature difference, make the engine noisy and the Chevron nozzle is used to counter the problem of the noise. The Chevron nozzle is a new concept, however it is currently being implemented by Boeing in the Boeing 737 engines. It cuts the rear circumferential and trailing edge of the engine in a repeated sawtooth pattern as you can see. The air coming out from the fan nozzle is subsonic, whereas the jet coming from the core section of the engine is relatively hot due to the combustion energy. In addition, it is high in speed due to the duct made by the core nozzle and this impacts supersonic profile of the core air. The most popular geometrical types of chevron nozzles are baseline chevron nozzles, conventional chevron nozzles, sinusoidal chevron nozzles, and asymmetric chevron nozzles. The two new chevron nozzle concepts brought here are sinusoidal chevron nozzles and asymmetric chevron nozzles. One concept explored the possibility of using sinusoidal chevron profile, whereas the other looks at the effect of asymmetry in the chevron configuration. Geometrically, for sinusoidal chevron nozzles, the edges of the sinusoidal protrusions are made smooth to eliminate sharp corners, whereas the asymmetric chevron nozzles are fabricated by cutting equilateral and isosceles triangle lobes at the trailing edge of the nozzle. The isosceles triangle chevron lobes have larger depths when compared with equilateral chevron lobes. The triangle lobes are placed such as the apexes of all the chevrons lie on a plane perpendicular to the nozzle axis. The first nozzle we are going to talk about is the baseline nozzle. Or as you can see, it's a plane nozzle. It can also be referred to as plane nozzle. This nozzle was used in the earlier turbofan engines. It produces a high velocity and high thrust at the same time. And produces a higher acoustic power level due to high turbulence at the exit of the nozzle. The second chevron nozzle is the conventional chevron nozzle or can also be referred to as the triangular chevron nozzle. This type is commonly used in the commercial aircrafts with turbofan engine 
and this is the type that is being implemented by Boeing in the Boeing 737 engines as mentioned earlier. It reduces the acoustic power level with low loss of thrust. The third type of chevron nozzle is the sinusoidal chevron nozzle. It is one of the new nozzle inventions. The sinusoidal chevron nozzle is modeled in order to analyze it for the acoustic power level and the velocity at the exit of the nozzle in order to increase the efficiency of the engine and of course to reduce noise level. The fourth type of chevron nozzle is the asymmetric chevron nozzle. It consists of isosceles triangles in which the triangles have different sizes and different depth. The asymmetric chevron nozzle was determined to subsonic noise reduction when compared to other chevrons that had symmetric geometry and identical penetration. Some experiments were conducted over a range of nozzle pressure ratios, NPR, from 1.5 to 5. The result indicates that both chevron asymmetric and chevron low profile have considerable effect on noise reduction. This is a reduction in OASPL of 2.5 dB for both of the symmetrical chevron nozzle tested. However, at high values of NPR, the sinusoidal chevron nozzle shows better noise reduction benefits for all emission angle due to the influence of the smooth chevron low profile. A marginal reduction in OASPL of 1 dB is observed for asymmetric nozzle along the longer isosceles triangular side and, and a considerable reduction of 4.5 dB is observed along smaller equilateral triangular side. It was also observed that the forward angles are noisier compared to, that, to aft angles for all chevron configurations at all NPRs.